everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are, are going to talk about the 11 questions that you should ask yourself when shopping for a new mattress. So let's go. So mattress shopping, it's confusing as it is. I know it can be a challenge. So when you're, when you're starting to do your mattress shopping, you should have a game plan. It's good to have some questions that you've already know the answer to before you go into the mattress store, before you start testing out mattresses. So here are 11 questions that I would say are very helpful to know before you get into a new mattress. So the first one, or before you start shopping for a new mattress, Gabe, what's the what's one of the most important questions? The first one that you would say, and yeah. we also ask this with people. We all, yeah, we always ask this like where we start out at, but it's an obvious one. Why are you replacing it in the first place? Yes. Right? I mean. You know, you know, you need, you might, maybe it's comfortable already, but why are you replacing it? That is probably the biggest question is what don't you like about the mattress? Yeah. Like there's a reason why you're, you're shopping for a new mattress and like, what, what don't you like about it? Yeah. Like, you know, you're not just going to go mattress shopping because you like mattress shopping, you know, so mm -hmm. some people may, may do that, but there's a reason why you're replacing it. And it's very important to know, like, is the mattress starting to sag on you? Yeah. Is it, is it too hot? Is like, is there a temperature issue with the mattress? And, and you might like the comfort, but you just don't like the temperature temperature aspect mm -hmm. out of it. You feel like you're getting too hot on the mattress. Is it too much motion? Like for couples, like if you're, you might like the comfort again on the mattress, but if you could feel the other person move around, that's something that, you know, you want to pay attention to. Yeah, it's big for light sleepers. They don't like to feel the other one. They feel everything in bed, right? Yeah, there's a yeah. few other, what other ones, Gabe? The other one is like, I mean, one is it, now maybe it's too soft or too firm now. Your body's changing. Yep. Right? So, I mean, those are other ones to consider, you know, to, to think, ask yourself, what don't I like about this mattress? And why am I repeating? Yeah, so when you're shopping for a new mattress with your, old, with your old one, I mean, just have that old one in mind and you want to go the opposite, you know? Another thing to know is like, is it too small? The size issue. You might like the comfort, but it's, if you have a queen size and you want to go to king size, you know, that's another reason, you know, why you're replacing it. So those are some of the reasons why people are going to replace the mattress that we see. But it's important to know that because when you're talking to the salesperson, they, they, you want them to go the opposite of what you currently have. The second question that I would ask yourself when shopping for a new mattress is, what is it, Gabe? What do you like about your current mattress? So you've already asked, what do I not like about my current mattress? But now you're saying, well, what do I like about the mattress I have right now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Is it still kind of comfortable, but it's dipping, you know? Is it, do you like the firmness of it? Mm -hmm. Do you like the edge support? When you sit at the edge or at the edge, you like that firm edge support? So those are questions it's good to know the answer to because when you're shopping for a new mattress, those are aspects that you might want to be looking for when you're shopping for the new mattress. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't like anything about your old mattress, then don't even worry about it. You know, just cross that off the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the third reason, or I should say the third question to ask yourself when shopping for a new mattress, what is it, Gabe? Yeah, it's what size of a mattress do you want? You know, do you want a queen size? Do you want a king size? Like, and what can fit inside your room? You know, so that's, a, that's another one to ask yourself, okay, what size of a mattress are we going to go with? Yeah, just before you go, like measure the measure the space that the mattress is going in, mm -hmm. so we can know if you guys decide to go with a king or California king, if it's gonna fit. That just it makes it a lot easier for everybody, so you're not you know getting excited about getting a new mattress and you got a home. Oh, I got to measure. So yeah, know the size and what you're dealing with now. And also for people debating between a queen and a king size, I'll tell you this is a little side note because I I don't think I've ever had anybody regretting going to a king size mm -hmm. mattress. Yeah, you know. So, but I do get people regretting going from a king to a queen. Oh, and I, I all the times like, man, I wish we got the bigger bed. Yeah. And you know, you're, if you're not sure what size to go with, I always err on the side of going with a bigger bed. Just like when I was TV shopping about a year ago and I wasn't sure what size, everybody said, if you're not sure, go with the bigger one. And thank God we did, you know, and same thing with a mattress. If you're not sure, and if you have the space for it, go with the bigger bed, you know? And remember the size, the Eastern King is gonna be a little bit wider, 76 wide. Cal King's a little bit narrower, 72 wide, and the Eastern King, or regular King, I should say, is gonna be 80 long, where the California King is gonna be 84 long. So if you want more elbow room and width, you know, go with the regular King size. Yeah. Know the size, know your space, what you want, and if you're gonna air, go bigger. Okay, so the fourth question to ask yourself, we're shopping for a new mattress, and it kind of goes with the, the last one, what is yeah. it, Gabe? It's how high do you want the mattress, right? So some people that are shorter or, you know, or they just need it to fit like in their in their bed frame, right? Or their headboard that they're yeah. getting. How high do you want your mattress to sit from the floor? Yeah, measure it from the floor to the top of the mattress. Mm -hmm. We'll show you a quick way and how to measure it from the floor to the top of the mattress because it can be a little bit tricky. And also like with your headboard height, if it's going to look weird on the headboard. So just measure how tall that you want the total height 
of it. This is, I'm gonna show you how to measure the mattress, floor to the top of the bed, you know, just kind of like how overall, how high you want the bed. So first on the mattress, this is what we get a lot from customers is they go from, they just do the mattress height and you see it's about, I mean, it looks like it's 12 inches thick. And they say, oh, I have a 12 inch thick mattress. The correct way to do it is get a flat edge, put the, uh, the tape uh, measure all the way down to the frame. And then you're looking at it, it's about 15 and three quarters of an inch, almost 16 inches. So that's how about thick this mattress is. Now for getting the height of it, you know, from the, like the, the floor space to where the, the mattress sits on, you're gonna go from the floor to the frame. In this case, it's the adjustable base. So it's 13 and a half inches from the floor to where the top of the, uh, the frame is. And then the overall height of the bed is, you go from the floor, grab your flat edge, and then um, you go to the top of the bed and you're at 29 and a half inches thick. So that's how you measure the overall height of the bed. That's number four. Okay, so the fifth question I would say that you should ask yourself when shopping for a new mattress, Gabe? Yeah, is what health issues are you trying to address, right? Is it, uh, are you snoring? Do you have sleep apnea? Like, what are you, what are you trying to solve for? Right? Yes, I would say this is a very important question yeah. for the answer to. Yes, yeah, snoring is very important. Do you snore? Even more scarier, do you have apnea? And you may not even know the answer to that question, but if you sleep with another person, ask the other person, do you stop breathing? You know, because if that's the case, or also if you have any acid reflux or, or indigestion issues? The answer to those questions, you might benefit from an adjustable base big time. I think everybody will benefit from an adjustable base. Yeah. Especially if you have those issues, then sleeping in an upright position, you might, I would say you would definitely benefit and that's something that I would consider when you're looking for a new mattress. Oh, for sure. We're talking to sleep apnea specialists and they said, you know, I mean, at least sleep elevated. If you kind yes. of think you may have sleep apnea, sleep elevated until you start going, until you go get tested. Yes, you know, because, because it does open gonna, you up. Yeah, it opens up those airways. Yes, for sure. Also hip pain, shoulder pain, even fibromyalgia. You know, I, we get a lot of customers that have fibromyalgia and they're very sensitive to any like pressure and pressure points. Just be aware of those little issues because when you're testing on mattress, you want something that's gonna relieve that pain yeah. on the hips or your shoulders or wherever you're, you're feeling. Any, any other thing that they, they need to pay attention to? Like what other health, health issues? Yeah, I mean, just hit them all. Acid reflux, you said, right? Yep. Uh, lower back pain. Like, just what are you trying to, yeah. What are yep. you trying to solve for? Yeah. Lower back at the end of the day, if you're on your feet a lot during the day or if you're sitting at a desk, elevating your feet up takes away the pressure off the lower back. So it might be, again, might consider going with a movable base with if you struggle with lower back pain. Yeah, what is it, edema? Like, is it the, uh, where fluid oh, edema? builds up? Yep. Edema, fill, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, that a mattress or your mattress shopping can help solve for, or at least, you know, help, maybe not solve completely, but could complement whatever else you're doing in your, you know, to, to solve those issues. Yeah, and we look at it as a whole sleep system. Yeah. You know, not just the mattress, not just the, but as a whole sleep system. That's the fifth question to ask yourself. Okay, so the sixth question, I would say that you should know when shopping for a new mattress. Gabe, okay, what is it? Yeah, it's knowing what your sleep position is. Am I a side sleeper, back sleeper, like right stomach sleeper? That's a, an important one to know, you know, cause some people are just like, huh, well actually I haven't even thought about that. Where am I? Yeah, most people don't sleep in one position at yeah. the night, but a good indicator is like, what position do you fall asleep in? Yeah. You know, that tells you like where you spend most of your time mm -hmm. and also like, or how you wake up too. Those right. are the two things to pay attention to. Do you, do you start on your back, you know, and you wake up on your side? If you, usually where you start is the, is the better indicator on how much or where you would prefer and where you start, you know? But yeah, again, most people toss and turn a bit where you spend most of your time. Yeah. You know? Because if you're a side sleeper, you're gonna want something that's gonna be a little bit more easier on your side. Yeah. Because your weight is more concentrated on your side. So the shoulders, the hips, you don't wanna go something that's gonna be too hard on them, mm -hmm. you know? So you want something that's gonna kinda alleviate some of that pressure. Pressure is very important when it comes to, to comfort. So when you're testing on mattresses, test it in the sleep position that you normally would lay on, mm -hmm. you know? Don't just lay on your back when you're testing on mattress if you're a side sleep. All right, so the seventh question that you need to know the answer to when shopping for a new mattress, at least have some kind of idea is, what is the game? Yeah, obvious one. Also, what is your budget? You know, like, am I in a thousand dollar range? Am I in a two thousand dollar range? Do I not really have a budget? I just need to really solve for my problem. And so I'm open for whatever's the best mattress out there for me. Yeah. Right? But what is your budget? Yeah, I mean, this is a very important question too. And we consider your budget now, remember, like, so, 
The mattress is, in my opinion, our opinion, mm -hmm. is the most important piece of furniture in your entire house. For sure, yeah. You know, you gotta remember, you're on this thing anywhere from six hours, seven hours, eight hours a day, night after night for the next, let's say, 10 years. Mm -hmm. So some people, they try to go as cheap as they can on this thing, and then they end up regretting it. And remember, this is where one third of your day affects the other two thirds of your day. How you sleep is so crucial onto the rest of your, just it's gonna affect your life in every way. Mm -hmm. So are you gonna go cheap? You know, do you want to go with the, the budget one where you're gonna have to replace it every so often? You know, where you're gonna send ten thousand dollars on a whole furniture bedroom set, but five hundred dollars on on a mattress. Man, we so, see that a lot too. I, I've seen that. See yes, lot, I've yeah. seen that many times. Day after day, night after night, you're gonna spend about about twenty three thousand hours on this purchase. That's probably more contact you're gonna have with any purchase that you have other than your home. So even your car, your shoes, your clothes, you're, you're gonna have that much contact with your mattress, probably more than any purchase that you have. I would say invest, you know, but also at the same time, don't overinvest. Right, yeah, you know? if you can't afford it, you know, then you just can't afford it. Yes, yeah, I mean, I'm a fan of Dave Ramsey, and so there is that balance. You gotta use wisdom on there. You know your budget. You know, they do have 0% finance options that make it a little bit easier. But yeah, just know your budget, have some idea, kind of compare what's out there but with pricing, but don't just be the guy. I, I see people coming into the store. I ask like what they're looking for, and they're just looking at prices. You know, they're just, yeah. they're, just they're making their decision just on prices without even laying on the mattress. Mm -hmm. So don't be that guy you know, but also, but know your budget. Or let the salesperson know like, hey, you know what? I, this is where I could afford, you know, and then it just kind of saves everybody some time. It does, right? it does, yeah. yes. So don't go too cheap, don't go, don't overspend. There's that balance, yeah. use wisdom, but at least have some kind of idea, yeah. you know? The eighth question I would say you would, you should know when shopping for a new mattress is go for it, Gabe. Yeah, it's gonna be like, what kind of materials do you want? Is it, uh, do you want a natural mattress, you know, that's gonna be without the chemicals or, or off-gassing, right? Yes. So that's an important one to know too, because there's a lot of people that, that say they want it, but, uh, you know, when you see the mattress they end up getting, you know, like they bought online, it's like, oh, it's not anywhere near that. Yep. Right? Yeah. Is going, staying away from chemicals important to you? You know, some people are their huge part of their lifestyle, eat organic, live a more healthy lifestyle. You're, while your mattress, you're again, you're gonna have more contact with your mattress than any purchase. Your face is up against it, mm -hmm. that thing. Some people have very high chemical sensitivities with any foams, because you're a typical mattress is gonna have the foams, the polyurethane, mm -hmm. it's gonna have the glues, it's gonna have the fire retardants. Mm -hmm. And I don't like scaring people, but I have seen people, many people have issues with their health, affects yeah. their health. So is going natural important to you? So getting a mattress that's made with more natural ingredients, natural materials, look for that. See what's inside the mattress. Ask that person, what kind of materials are in this mattress? So, yeah. and that's helpful too, because it starts in, I, I'm gonna narrow down my, my selection then too. Yes. Right now, let me just find the comfort in one of these natural beds, right? So yep. it makes it easier for you as well. Okay. so. The ninth question, we I would say you should know the answer to. Yeah, how, how long do you want to keep the mattress? Is it uh, long term, short term? Right, I mean, pretty simple. Is what, what are you again? What are you solving for? Long term or short term? Yeah, and my my baseline on this, when I say short term, and you throw three years or less. Three yeah. years or less is short term. You know, you don't want to break the bank. You don't want to get something that's out of your budget. If you know you're gonna move in three years, or this is something very short term, you could get a, a decent, a good, solid mattress for a three year or less bed. You know, yeah. most of our mattresses are made for the long term. That's gonna last you a good twenty years. You know, ten to twenty years, I would say. But three years or less bed, you you know, yeah. get something. Or if it's three years or more, you might want to spend a little bit more on the budget with that one, you know, if mm -hmm. it's going to be a long-term investment because you want the mattress to feel the same at least three, four, five, six years from now. So invest in something with a little bit better materials. Okay, so the 10th question that you should ask yourself when shop for a new mattress is number 10, Gabe. Who's the mattress for? Is it you, kids, guests? Like who's going to be using this mattress? And if it's for guests, obviously if it's the mattress for you, think about yourself, but it's for a guest room bed. What, what guests are going to come the most? Is it the yeah. in-laws? Is it your kids coming home from school? Like who are, who's the one that's going to be sleeping on this, mm -hmm. this more? Yeah. And also how much do you like your guests? How long do you want them to stay? Do you want us to get the mattress where the, the spring pops out after the third day? Just let the salesperson know that one. If you don't like them too much, you you push a button for that, right? Yes. Number three, push that button, the spring comes There's up. There's a few, there's a few, yeah. Or, you know, if it's for your kids that, you know, you know they like a nice soft bed, you know, just think of them in mind. Now it's for, here's something to know. If just, you have all sorts of different guests, that there's not this one guest, 
what I found that works best, the safe way to go is just go medium. You know, don't go too firm, don't go too soft, land in the middle. Yeah. It's, it, that usually does the job. So the last question on our list, ask yourself when looking for a new mattress, number 11, what is it, Gabe? It's gonna be, what are you gonna be putting this mattress on? Yes. Right? I mean, we're thinking, we're all thinking about the mattress. Now we're like, what are you going to be putting the mattress on? Yeah. What kind of frame is mm -hmm. it going to be? Is it a platform bed? When I say platform bed, it's like, are the slats either super close together that a mattress can just sit on or a solid piece? Or is it a bed frame that you're going to need another box spring or foundation on? You know, what kind of frame is it going to be used? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because that one, it goes back to also the height, yep. right? What, how high it's going to be, but also the support. I mean, we used to be kind of like early on is, you know, oh, you only had your, you know, you're replacing your mattress after five years and that foundation's only about five years old. Yeah, you should be pretty good, you know, with just getting a mattress only. Yep. But now what we've been seeing is like, no, you should probably replace both of them because that's where the support starts. If yes. You, if you're, you know, you're gonna replace that foundation or, or box spring. Yep, a mattress right. is only as good as the, the weakest link. So mm -hmm. if you have poor foundation underneath it, whether it's slats or a box spring, replace both of them because it's all gonna trickle up to to affect your mattress, which is eventually gonna trickle up to affect your back. Yeah. So make sure, what kind of support, what are you gonna put your mattress on? So yeah. very important question to know the answer to. Yeah, and, all, and that's another reason why we don't do also just like box springs, put springs in it, because there's a lot of people that like the uh, adjustable base. Yep. Testing a mattress out in the store that's on a box spring with actual springs that are giving. Yes. And then you put it on an adjustable base, it's gonna feel different. Yes. So, you know, figure out, okay, what are you gonna be putting the mattress on? Cause that's how you're gonna want it to feel like. Yeah, yeah, that will definitely affect the comfort of the feel of the mattress. Yeah. I hope this helped, a little bit longer video than normal, but I thought this, this is gonna be very useful when looking for a new mattress. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are on your mattress shopping journey, we have a guide that you can download. Um, it's on our website or right here. And then also, yeah, feel please subscribe, give us a like if you have any questions, Put them in the comments. Hopefully we get an answer and, or just give us a ring. If you're on your sh shopping journey, if you have any questions, just give us a call at one of our stores. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Sleep you. well.